Hello, what's going on, and how do you all do? You guys already know who I am, and quite frankly, there's no need to mess with introductions, so let me just get straight into what I'm wanting to say. So first of all, you're probably wondering what's going on with me. I mean, no videos for a while, what's happening with your hapag? Give us an update, and that's what this video is here for. Okay, so first of all, back when I made that video about the unit breaking down, um, I'm sure you guys know which one that is, what happened was, I actually sent the unit back to Hapag. I sent it to their mailing address. I exchanged emails with a rep, and um, that's when they instructed me to do that. So, they did the whole RMA process thing, they gave me a report back, and they said that when they opened the unit up, there was fuses blown inside. Lots of blown fuses. Now, of course, that was my fault, and yes, I know, you should probably check what you're doing before you plug it in there blindly, but... Oh well, we all make some stupid things and mistakes. Anyway. Um, so I paid the $50 to get it repaired, and thank goodness it wasn't 100 because they would have had to replace the whole thing, and... Uh, gotta pay to do it because it's out of warranty. I've had the unit for more than two years, so... Whatever, I figured it's better than buying a new one, right? And then, of course, I had to pay the shipping to bring it back to where I am. And, of course, when it came back to where I am, I had to pay a COD. God damn it, I hate that. Ugh. So yeah, basically it cost me almost $100 to get this thing repaired and sent back to me. But, when I got it back, it worked. And that's what I recorded that one video with, the Day 6 thing on Pikmin 2. So, I was like, okay, sweet. And I can even use this on my new laptop, which is awesome. And then, of course, comes the weekend where we actually want to use it and record some more videos. Boom. Problem. So now the device works just fine, but it, for some reason, whenever you plug anything USB-related into it, it just doesn't detect it at all. It doesn't make that hardware connect sound when you can plug it into a Windows computer, and apparently, no other device, including a TV or any display unit, can just see it either, which is strange, because... You know, it works just fine. Even if it's not connected to a computer, it'd still work on component just fine, right? Well, okay, so I figured maybe something's wrong with the USB cable. It's the USB 2.0 A slash B cable, you know, the one with the funny looking end. Um, it comes with the unit. So I tried to take that and put it with something else, like a portable hard drive, for example. Those use the same kind of USB cables. And the cable works just fine. So, we know that the cable is not the problem, and apparently there's something wrong with the USB port on the actual Hapag unit itself. That really sucks, by the way, because everything else is just fine. It powers on just fine, you'll see the blue light in there, and it looks like it's ready to go, but there's no connection, of course. I mean, that would make too much sense, right? Hmm, so, what to do now? The connector seems to be fine, but the port on the back seems to be having problems. Hmm. Now I'm exchanging emails again with Hapag support, and I'm trying what they're suggesting, like using hcclear.exe to get rid of all the drivers and try to restart and reinstall all the drivers, but that's not working. You can't install the drivers unless the computer actually detects the unit. So, I'm uh, flat out of luck there. It's starting to look like I may have to abandon the unit, but I'm not ready to give up yet, so there's still hope. There's still hope. Well, while I'm looking into that, um, as you can probably see, I've been playing Diablo 3. Now, I decided to choose the mage of all things to start with, because that's the easiest class to use, right? <laughs> Wrong. Um, I really don't know if this would actually make watchable material. I mean, what Diablo 3 really is, is gear farming. That's really what it comes down to at the end. It's fun at first when you're playing on normal, and then when you jump on the nightmare, things start to kill you really fast. And I'm not exactly one of the best classes to handle the early difficulties without some good gear. I think every class is like that to some regard, except the Barbarian. But anyway. Um, yeah, I've been playing the game of in shards. I do like it. I just find that my luck is terrible right now. <laughs> Um, how many times have I died? I don't know. Lots. But the game does tend to be fun when you're playing with multiple people, so that is something of an enlightening fact. I like it. Now, what else needs to be covered? Um, really, I 
don't have too much to go on in terms of videos. I mean, I have a powerful computer. Maybe there's a computer game I could do. Maybe, I don't know. I It's tough to say because I've been so busy lately. God damn, I mean, <laughs> when you have a job and you have to maintain things, it gets a little rough. You got bills to pay, you got things to do. Uh, but free time is limited. You gotta make the best of it. Or most of it. Whatever you want to prefer to say that with. So, before I turn into an incoherent or incobabble mess, um, what I'm gonna do is, for now, I might just throw up some random videos, just so that, you know, I could say, hey, I'm still doing things, but we'll get back to that when I can. I really want to finish Pikmin 2, because the, the Wii version's actually improved compared to the GameCube version, and I'm enjoying it. So, <laughs> I don't want to cut it off there. That's pretty much what I want to do. So in the meantime, I do hope this update has provided some information to those who happen to enjoy what I have to offer, and here's hoping that I finally get this thing resolved. Until then, I shall see you all later. Take it easy, of course.